her current billionaire land developer boyfriend and his wife and her boyfriend in a plot to kidnap the billionaire and throw him in a loony bin. A loony bin refers to a mental asylum or a hospital or setting of some type where people go when they're having um, psychological problems. Uh, a loony bin is associated with sort of an old-fashioned way of thinking about it where they would put people in straight jackets and tie them to the bed and do whatever it is they had to do to keep people from moving and hurting themselves. Uh, nowadays, that's usually accomplished with drugs. They give them the drugs and then the people calm down. A loony bin also happens to be an offensive term. So if you say they carted so-and-so off to the loony bin, that's being very derogatory towards the person. On the other hand, you can use it ironically if you want to. You can say, uh, this job has been very frustrating. Uh, before you know it, they're going to cart me off to a loony bin if, if I don't get this report out on time. A lot of people like to call the Republican Party the GOP. I like to call it the right-wing loony bin. Uh, I saw this great movie, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, real old school, where uh, being in a loony bin really meant that you were in a loony bin, where they tied people up, <laughs> did strange things to them, really bizarre movie. It was just crazy, mind blowing. But yeah, these girls were off the chain. Let me know in the comments below, who do you think the hottest girl was? Off the chain uh, refers to doing something that's a lot of fun, very enjoyable, maybe a little outside of your restrained norms. So for example, uh, going to an amusement park, get off the chain for a, a day, whereas most of your days are very regulated. You don't really get much of an opportunity for fun. But on this one day, you're just going to let loose a little bit, go off the chain, go have some fun. The idea largely comes from a dog being kept on a chain, which is what they used to do back in the olden days. Or you really want to, you could think of it as a you know, slaves, they might be kept on a chain, or where people in an office, they say, well, we work like slaves, they keep us on a chain. I got to keep my cell phone on all, all the time. So the idea of going off the chain means that you're, at least for a short period of time, you're not under supervision. You can do what you want. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to go crazy and do all sorts of wild crazy things, but, but you're just going to do something that's a little maybe outside the norm. Maybe you're going to go on a water slide. Or you're going to go on a cruise, <laughs> a booze cruise. So off the chain means to do something fantastic, awesome, or wild in a positive sense. I went on a retreat with my company two weeks ago for three days at this great resort. And they just encouraged everybody to just go off the chain, booze it up, <laughs> get wild and crazy, you know, dress up in, in hula outfits. <laughs> but, but most of the people didn't want to let themselves off the chain quite as much as the managers might have might have wanted them to. Because they also videotaped everything, too. So you could just imagine what, what they were going to do with, uh, with the footage. When I first saw Avatar, I was completely impressed. That movie was totally off the chain. With the 3D special effects in the story, I was just blown away. That's all for today. Tom Taylor is an ESL tutor. He teaches English in the United States and outside all over the world using Skype. He can be reached at his website, which is ESL hyphen full steam ahead dot com. 
click on this link and check out his website and email with questions. Thank you, Tom, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.